Day 21. Think I've been here before. I know that I must have met you in a past life. Got my heart on the floor. Go slow. Keep me falling for you all night. Tell me now. Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on and am nearly finished with a 21 day mind, body, soul reset challenge. If you're interested in following that from day one, feel free to click the video above or just go ahead and check out the daily goals posted below. So today's video format wise is going to be a little bit different. What I want to do is make sure I save some time to reflect on how the journey went for me, um, things I liked about it, things I didn't like about it, and then give you guys the weigh-in results. So what I'm gonna do is quickly just get into the mind, body, soul component, and then you can feel free to click down below on which chapter you wanna watch. The very last chapter will be my reflection component with my weigh-in. All right, we are at the final chapter of The Way of Integrity by Martha Beck. We did it. And you know how yesterday I said she took a mystical turn? It gets even more mystical today. I don't know how I feel about how this book ended. I really like the beginning, middle. The end is a little, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'd be so curious to know how you guys feel about it, but let's just dive right in. She says that the closer our lives match with The Way of Integrity, the more magical they can become. The world that we perceive will seem more interconnected and will become more attuned to that. This is where it gets a little weird. So Martha Beck uh, went through a couple of transformations in her life, a couple of awakenings, but she remembers having this one recurring vision where she was living in California with her family in a national park. She kept having this vision. It was very vivid. She just like pictured herself there with her family. So she ended up moving her whole family to a national park in California. And for her, she says everything felt right when she did that. She began to meditate every day. And eventually she heard this, she says, inaudible voice that said to her, you are stillness. And she uses this experience to encourage us to feel these moments of stillness and connection. The connection that is not only between you and me, but the universe itself. And just to give you an idea of how mystical she sounds, this is a quote that I just had to share. The moment we call now is like the line where the plane of eternity intersects with the plane of time. Do with that whatever you will. Uh, I think I have an idea of what she's talking about, but it, it's about living in the present moment, the now rather than the past or the future. When we live in this now, we can become one with the universe. Yeah, there you go. I, I just think that I'm not there yet, which is why it, that part of the book did not resonate with me as much as other parts. Perhaps even after this challenge, I'm still stuck in the dark wood of error. I'm working on it. Okay, now let's talk about the body. So uh, uh, yesterday I said I wanted to do a 90 minute Peloton bike ride today and check it out. That was really, really hard. I am so proud of myself, but I am exhausted. I am tired. I am not gonna do a 90 minute ride for a while. I might go back to maybe 60, 75, and then 90 uh, every week or something like that. But yeah, super proud of myself. Obviously burned a lot of calories. And now we will do a quick meditation today just for three minutes, so enjoy that.
first of all, just want to thank everybody who has been supporting me throughout this challenge. I just have really appreciated the community here on YouTube. And I, I don't think I would have done this had it not been for you guys. I've said that a couple of times on the channel, but truly there were days when I did not want to get dressed, when I didn't want to get ready, when I didn't want to film myself. But because I knew there were some people watching, I did it. So thank you for that. What I was surprised by was how much I needed meditation. So I'm only doing the five minutes a day and that five minutes just changes the way that I see the day. It, it calms me down, it, it causes me to kind of focus throughout the day. So I think that's gonna be something that I continue after this challenge. And it's only five minutes, it's only five minutes. I can do that. The working out, to be honest with everybody, has always been a part of my life. I even other videos throughout, you know, this channel the last like two, three years, I've always been somebody that loves cycling. I used to be a runner. And so this has just helped me to kind of get back into the mindset of, all right, yeah, you, you're somebody that likes to work out. You don't have to look a certain way to do a 90 minute Peloton bike ride. You can do it and you can feel strong and exercise is absolutely going to be a part of my lifestyle from here on out. And then thinking about the body, like intermittent fasting, I really, really enjoyed intermittent fasting. If anything, it just shortens the amount of time that I can eat. And I found that with the exception with a couple of days, I found that it wasn't that difficult. So I do think that is gonna be something that I do moving forward. And then the book, like I never would have finished that book without this challenge. <laughs> I would have given up reading maybe halfway through this book. So I, even though, even though I didn't fully like agree with everything in the book and I didn't fully enjoy like every single moment um, uh, while I was reading it, I am so proud that I read it. So I, I'm just like really, I'm thrilled that I did that. And now finally the moment that many of you are waiting for, like what's the, what's the final result after all this weight wise? What does the scale have to say? And keeping in mind that the scale is just a number. I, I really, really, really want to practice believing that. But here's the results. So in total, I believe that is at least six pounds, which is awesome, way more than I thought I was gonna lose. I truly thought that I was only gonna lose like two to three pounds because it's only a 21 day challenge. So I uh, really, really think that it had a lot to do with the calories, it had to do with intermittent fasting, and obviously had to do with exercising every day. I am really, really happy with that number. I'm excited to maintain it for a little bit and then you know, focus on losing weight a bit slower moving forward. I'm happier with half a pound to a pound a week. So uh, we'll see you know, if I can do that moving forward. All right, well, that is it for me. Thank you all for watching and um, stay tuned for my next video. It, it should be coming out, I'm hoping, by the end of next week. So, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the comments, I hope.